Hello and welcome to the NNC Farm and Garden DIY Passive Solar Greenhouse Build. So this is it. It's uh, nearing completion. It's uh, coming up six weeks and uh, today we, or this week, we got the, uh, the roof on. Uh, we got the poly on. We got a door made. I got to make another door. We've got uh, some dirt moved. We're going to put that trough there and fill it with mint because mint kind of get, gets a little bit out of, out of control and we're going to use that as a retaining wall for the garden in front of the greenhouse so then we've got another old water trough that we're going to go over that way to the fence and have our retaining wall here and then this is going to be flat and uh, uh, probably gardens this is definitely going to be gardens depending on we, how we work our fencing we might have some gardens in here but we do have to run fencing because we have goats that, well, really like gardens. So this is this is our door. Let's open it and see. So I've got to put another door here uh, to go into the inside, uh, through the inside wall. And there are our uh, beds. So it's uh, we've got dirt up um, in that back wall. Um, We've got another 96 inches to go and uh, tomorrow we'll run another course of wire uh, which will take us about 32 inches which is going to be up to about there and um, we will probably fill that fill that tomorrow or the next day uh, probably this week we will have that filled to the ceiling um, this next course we can get from a, a uh, a ladder, um, the course after that might be a little slower because one of us might have to be up and uh, grabbing the uh, rope or the bucket with a rope and lifting it that way. So we got the beds made. Um, where you see where we're walking, where I'm walking now through here and these aisles are going to be our walkways. So. We are going to um, fill these up with uh, soil, front to back, and uh, we are we had a little bit of a breakage. Um, I di didn't actually run anything uh, other than the foam, and then the f with kids climbing on top and uh, me stepping on it accidentally once uh, that broke, and another one over there was giving away, so we just reinforced that with some wood. Um, I was hoping that it would uh, stay put until we got the soil in to hold it from the other direction. So, but it didn't. So I had to fix that. Uh, but we got the, all the beds made. Um, next step is to make soil. Um, start filling these beds with straw and compost. We need to uh, um, paint that wall. We need to put that tarp onto a roller system attached to the top ceiling. And then we need to put the inside poly uh, up. And um, then at that point in time, um, just a little, a few little things like uh, anchor points for strings for tying up tomatoes. Um, oh, and take all the tools out and all the building stuff and get it all out. Um, so this back wall, it's uh, <clears throat> gonna be all dirt. Two feet of um, our clay fill uh, which is compacting really nicely um, and we got these old lumber tarps from the lumber yard so that's what our back wall is going to look like it's going to be a little bit bulged um, but it's going to be covered in wire black tarp and it's going to be really solid um, it'll have a kind of unique look um, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do for that wall finish. Um, so, and then we've, once we have this put up, then we'll put up those last remaining boards on either side. So this is our passive solar greenhouse build that is nearing completion. We are going to work on soil this week, paint that wall and uh, make an insulated door for for that hole, insulate that wall, and uh, put the tarp on, is, and put the uh, greenhouse poly on the inside, and that is our plans for 
for the week. Um, but that is our passive solar greenhouse build. So hopefully the next video we do, you'll uh, see that that is going to be full. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll have some soil in here. And um, yeah, so one of the things that we were discussing today uh, when we we're making the beds is this bed here. You can see that it has a wall, but none of the others do. So this bed and its partner right here are going to have that rear wall back in there. Um, and this piece here is going to be removable. So we have kids and winters are long here. So um, we're hoping to be able to remove this bed for winter time and have uh, basically a um, about a six foot. Well, that's 18 inches and 30 inches and 18 inches by... 44 2 and 44 2 feet and 44 so that's about 10 by 6 or so um, and that'll be a nice little spot for the kids to play in uh, and get some warmness in the our cold cold winters so that is it guys um, stay tuned for the next update which is going to hopefully be the uh, completion video uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in and getting to the very end.